Shappy Kaur Sandy is a best-selling author and stand-up comic, and Ed Fisher is head of fraud at Nationwide Building Society, and they've teamed up to help parents around the country learn the signs to stop their children becoming money mules. Good afternoon, both of you. How are you? Good afternoon. Fine, thank you. Thank you for asking. Very well indeed. So what actually is a money mule, Ed? A money mule, as the name suggests, is carrying the money. They're, they're carrying effectively stolen funds. So when we think of things like scams and frauds, we often think of the victim and the, the person who's been duped out of their, their hard-earned cash. But of course, the criminal needs to get the money sent some. They, they want to set the radar. Therefore, they want to enlist the help of somebody else to carry the money. And then they'll often break it down to other transactions and send it on somewhere else to continue to fund criminal activity. So that's mule is. And Shappi, you've actually been a victim of fraud yourself, haven't you? I haven't been a victim because um, I, I was, uh, I smelled a rat. And what happened uh, on a couple of occasions, I have had a phone call, one from HMRC, pretending, I should say, uh, <laughs> HMRC, saying that there, um, there was a warrant out for my arrest. Uh, unless I paid this fine um, immediately. And then another time, a very um, well-spoken bloke rang me. He knew uh, my bank details, my address, my name. He said he was from my bank and he very um, sincerely explained that they had been, um, their computers had been hacked and I needed to put all my money into an emergency account they're giving their clients. And then once, uh, within 24 hours, when their computers were made safe, they would be returned back into my normal account. And he had me up until move your money into this new account. And it really made me um, realize uh, if you don't have the life experience, if you don't have the confidence and the um, know-how to spot when you're being lied to, it can be quite easy to just trust an authoritative voice. These confidence tricksters, um, are really good at manipulating people. Uh, and I thought as a parent, uh, I really need to make my children aware of, of how they can become money mules quite easily by um, providing an account for people to put money into. It just sounds like it's so easy for somebody to be a victim of fraud in that way. And I guess a lot of what they do is try and pressure you and make you feel like you have to fall for it quickly. Yeah, that's the thing, because I've always said to my children, don't trust someone just because they're wearing a high-vis jacket. That's something that you can buy in any hardware store. And likewise, don't trust anyone just because they say you're from they're from your bank and they know your bank account and PIN number. Because anyone can get that from rifling through your bins. And what really drew me to Nationwide's uh, campaign is finding out that almost half of young people have said that they, yeah, they would agree to becoming money mules if it meant making a quick uh, bit of cash Now, that was frightening because obviously it's the financial pressures that everyone's under at the moment that might make them think that way. And also an ignorance of how this is illegal and it can land them into proper strife. Yeah, I was thinking that because, Ed, do you think that young people realise that this is a very serious crime that can be used for money laundering and all that? Well, I think in all honesty, no, they probably don't. And I think that's that's the key message for today, which is, it's perfectly understandable because on the one side, you know, we're bombarded, aren't we, in the modern day with adverts. I and mean, Almost all of the young people that we survey, I think the actual statistic was about 94%, but that's nearly all the people have seen these get rich quick adverts. You know, the, the guy or the girl sitting on the bonnet of the Ferrari saying you can make 100,000 in, you know, in a couple of months like I did by, you know, working from home and doing this simple thing. And of course, with a bit of life experience, you just know that that's not true. But it's very easy to assume that these things do exist. You see them on a platform or on a site or something that looks legitimate. So, of course, the trust is there, a bit like the high-vis jacket example that Shappi used. The trust is there because you trust how you've been communicated with. And so you, you you can easily get taken in by what they're not thinking at the same time, perhaps just because they haven't seen some, you know, some of the financial system and been around it that long, um, is the fact that actually it's a bit like if you're carrying somebody's bag onto a plane. You're responsible for what's in that bag and you'll be held responsible. It's the same with money. Whatever goes through your account, you need to know where it's from and you need to know where it's going. And um, Because unfortunately, it could be a scammer and they, they could be asking you to handle the proceeds of the crime. So 
So what are the signs that parents should be looking out for? I think parents really, it's just all about knowing what's going on with, with your child, really, because, you know, you, they can become a little bit over-obsessed, perhaps with a new job opportunity. There might be some money that they've suddenly got hold of that you're not quite sure where it's from. But actually, oftentimes, the money itself probably won't materialise. The cut or whatever they're promised may not materialise because um, actually probably what would happen is the scammer would almost blackmail them into saying, well, you're, you're now involved in something that you shouldn't be, and, and I will tell the authorities if you don't continue. So they might become extremely stressed and a bit withdrawn and, and you know just those signs that something really isn't right uh, and it's that time to open up the conversation to find out what, what is happening for them. Could you actually be blackmailed into giving them more money so in effect you're actually losing money by taking part? Yes and, and I think this, the sad thing is that these individuals I mean I am pleased to say on the one hand it's a very small minority of individuals companies firms you know and adverts and things that are not genuine the vast majority of what is happening is genuine we don't want people to not feel they can trust people however the, the criminal and the scammer is out there they do do a lot of damage and as you say they do their damage because they're relentless and they will try almost any tactic and they will switch their tactics part way through just to keep you hooked just to keep you doing what they'd like you to yeah and Shappy, as a mother of two what have you been doing to try and help your children not become a victim of things like this i think that it's important to talk to your children about money not necessarily immediately going about fraud but in a, a time where um, like when i was a kid you know my pocket money was physical you know and uh if you lost if my mum lost I remember once went to the fun fair and my mum's purse fell off on a on a ride and she lost her purse and that was the end of our day so the importance of cash money was something that we grew up with but my children's generation it's all ping ping on a just tapping a card or a phone on a device and we're in the cinema and the groceries are paid for And so really talking to them about where that money comes from, where that goes, understanding things like mortgages, you know, um, I didn't know what a mortgage, how a mortgage worked or rent worked until I had to get a a mortgage or, or paid rent. So these are things that from a much younger age we should be able to talk to kids about because then it gives them the confidence to feel like they know what um, the rules are and what the law is and what money means so they're not sort of like a rabbit in headlights when a grown-up calls them and says that they can move their money into another account etc etc give them a lot of knowledge and confidence about finances early I think is critical. I don't know if older people were actually asked but does it appear that younger people are more likely to fall for these fraud things and become a money mule and why is that if so i think anybody can fall for it i think the key here is it's it's people that are in that vulnerable situation i think as, as shappy said it's it's the confidence these are confidence tricksters and therefore your confidence is the thing that that um, you know that will sort of combat it now you'll tend to find of course as you grow through life with more experience and therefore with a bit of age you'll tend to find that confidence you know is growing with you so young people would would pr- potentially probably be more susceptible but it can happen to any Anybody. Yes. And also it's um, my I, I'm guilty of this myself where I, I, I joke about how I'm such a Luddite and my kids are so amazing on computers because they're the, you know, they're the uh, Internet generation. And so I became aware that that shouldn't be a disconnect between us. They should be able to. Um, come, oh, forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? I don't even know how to turn my phone off. <laughs> And that would be wonderful if that was a scammer calling, wouldn't yeah, it? Would. Real fun, Nick. <laughs> we could expose them live on the radio. <laughs> yeah, so uh, um, I do think that this narrative that, oh, they know what they're doing online is dangerous because they're still, um, you know, children or young, very young adults. And they can have all the know-how in the world, but still fall for something that looks official. Well, where are we able to go to find out more information? Well, we've got a great site at Nationwide. So nationwide.co.uk, if you just type in mules into the search bar at the top of our website, you'll come up with a couple of articles, you can find out more. There's also a great independent website, uh, which is moneymules.co.uk, and you can find out everything you need to know on one of those too. Excellent. Well, many thanks to both of you for coming on, and have a great Christmas. Thank you. Thank you indeed.